。宾夕法尼亚大学里的无尘实验室就跟生产半导体同样规格，但这里制作的不是晶片，而是超迷你的机器人。This is where we actually build all the layers of our tiny robots, and so this tool has to be able to suck basically all of the air out of the the chamber. 这些机器人最大只有一颗盐巴粒大小，最小甚至只有盐巴的十分之一。A lot of the robots in this lab, any of the ones that have legs, have origami-inspired legs. These legs that bend from 2D to 3D by using folding hinges and rigid panels. 利用折叠的方式让机器人能缩到最小，再透过预先编制的镭射光或是即时照射光线，就能控制这些机器人的行动。这门迷你的小东西就能进入我们的身体里，展开医疗行动。If you get a nerve injury, that little nerve will try to regrow, and usually nothing good comes of that because the nerve just doesn't grow fast enough. What you'd like to do is be able to make that nerve grow faster, and the size of those little nerves are about the same as the size of the robots. Um, and so one technological application we're looking at are building tiny-legged robots that can grab onto nerves and drag them back to the muscle they're supposed to be connected to. 折叠的技巧甚至能应用在改变 DNA 的形状。一般我们印象当中 DNA 应该是像这样坚固的双螺旋，但事实上它是由两股单独的链来组成，上面有碱基配对结合。透过这样类似拼图的方式，就能让 DNA 折叠起来。What DNA origami does is apply short strands called staples, programmed with specific bases along a long single strand of DNA. That single strand will then bend and fold according to the base bonds. Folded enough, and you can make all types of shapes. 以往基因只能折叠一次，但首尔大学的专家实验却发现，可以让 DNA 像折纸一样的画出折线，让基因沿着框架弯折。But I observe only. One or three of hundreds of DNA wireframes are folded into some shapes. The main thing is they are not randomly folded. They are only folded along the wireframe like edges. So what I did is origami of DNA origami. 也因此，专家就能借由打造出框架，调整 DNA 的折叠形状，而且还能透过包括改变 pH 值，还有光线照射，让这些 DNA 折起来或是舒展开来。So let's imagine that if you have a very thin piece of paper, then you can easily fold into different shapes, but it's it's too flexible, so it's difficult to maintain the structure itself. We have to optimize the The stiffness or flexibility of the structures, so that we can maintain the folded on folded state stably, but also we can easily fold and unfold with high success rate. 透过这种 DNA 折叠，就可以协助药品在体内的运送到固定的部位再释放出来，或是与特定的 RNA 结合，就能作为生物传感器，方便包括癌症等等医疗检测。But still, it's limited in. Two dimensional space. So we want to expand our design space to three dimensional space, and also there is also another technique called kirigami, which is the cutting paper rather than folding papers. So I'd like to introduce that kind of concept at the Nanomet scale. 未来 3D 立体的 DNA 折叠应用在生物纳米技术，将能制造更多精确治疗的标靶药物，模拟病毒，协助疫苗研发，甚至是智慧材料等等不。同范畴，各种肉眼看不到的折叠方式，却有可能完全改变我们的生活。TVB 新闻综合报道。